The CIA began to plot Castro's assassination during the Eisenhower administration. But in the early weeks of the Kennedy administration, the agency moved to streamline its assassination capability. The man in charge was Richard Bissell, then chief of covert operations for the CIA. He is speaking publicly about this subject for the first time. At one time, the CIA organized a small department known as Executive Action, which was a permanent assassination capability. How well, it that... wasn't just an assassination capability. It was a capability to discredit or get rid of people. But it, it, it could have included assassination. The CIA's first plans for getting rid of Castro aimed at discrediting him. By impregnating a box of the Cuban leader's cigars with LSD, the agency hoped Castro would make a speech while under the influence and discredit himself publicly. Then there was the plan to dust his shoes with the powder that would cause his beard to fall out. The CIA thought this would rob Castro of his charisma. But for one reason or another, such schemes were abandoned. And in August 1960, the CIA turned to assassination.